we got married! We got married back in April, April 13th to be exact, in the Bahamas, and I'm gonna sit down with you and share with you everything about our wedding weekend. And Paul is MIA because he is living his best life golfing, as he should. He's obsessed with golf. I married a golfer, which means I'm like a golf wife, which means I never see my husband. I'm just kidding, I see him lots. But for this video, it is just me you're getting. We got married in the Bahamas. We ended up choosing the Bahamas over Toronto where we live for many reasons. One being because when we started planning our wedding here in Toronto, we realized that it was going to be massive. It felt like it very quickly became a wedding that wasn't for us, but for everyone else, which is fine if it's for your you know, closest family and friends, but it just was getting so out of hand. And I remember Paul called me and he's like, I don't know about this whole Toronto wedding thing. It just seems like insane and just ridiculous. He's like, let's go somewhere and get married. So I was like, let's go to the Bahamas because it's only three hours from Toronto. So it's not too far. And uh, we love the Bahamas, it's beautiful. So that is where we went. I realized I didn't record as much as I initially had intended to while I was there, which I'm actually happy about because I was really just enjoying the moments and enjoying our time down in the Bahamas. I'm gonna start regularly posting on this channel our daily lives and also more of the business side, the behind the scenes of building the business takeoff, which is my business, just our, our lives. You know, we're very raw and authentic and share everything with you. So. We put it all out there. But first, let's cut to the room tour. Cause this room was amazing. The view was incredible. If you come in here, this is the main, or the hallway, the guest bathroom. Just a little bathroom, hello. And then this is a foyer I'm in. And if you go this way, you can see we brought all of our luggage. All the staff claimed it all already. <laughs> Paul's eating a charcuterie board. Then I'm too. And here's like a little coffee station. And then I want to show you, hello, Mr. Mailing. Look at this view. How beautiful is this? We have this seating area, and then I'll show you on the other side, we have that seating area as well. I mean, what a view. So then, so there's all this. They brought a champagne, a charcuterie. We go in here. Here is the bedroom, the chairs. We can just watch. The sunrise, the sunset, <laughs> I don't know, whatever. Anyways, and then here's the bathroom, shower tub. <laughs> okay, but I have to say, I'm gonna like toot my own horn. I don't know if it's a really old thing to say, but I'm gonna, you know, have a moment to pat myself on the back because I feel like I really nailed outfits on this trip. But I do have to say, throughout the trip, I really, leading up to it, I planned my outfits quite well. I'm very impressed, actually, with some of my looks. Uh, Paul is more of the fashion fashionista of the family. I would say he shops for me 99% of the time, just because he was, you know, he owned a very high-end fashion boutique. He's very knowledgeable about fashion. I like it. I don't love it as much as he does. But anyways, I'll share more about the outfits later on. But honestly, one thing when we first got to the Bahamas that took me, I, I guess I was expecting, but I, I didn't realize how much, you know, we had some, we had the most incredible wedding planner and she did everything for us, but there were still so many details that we needed to sort through. It was just like little things as someone who's very, has a type A personality where I just want to have control over everything and everything to be perfect. It's so hard to let go and it was no different here. So when we got to the Bahamas, uh, we worked on a lot of different things. I'm gonna share some clips right now of that. Hello, hello. Okay, so I just finished filming for Tiffany. Ooh, I'm sorry, that audio probably hurt you. I'm just finished filming for Tiffin Tech and I thought I would clip myself in for audio. because oftentimes for vlogs, I don't have audio on because it's just spur of the moment like this and I don't have audio around and then the audio is not so great. So right now, eh, 
you get a certificate, you get a certificate. No, no one gets a certificate. Um, what I'm doing right now is I am trying to put in, we printed off like a bunch of signs for our wedding, like things like for the pedal toss, for like we're doing a bunch of swag giveaway, swag giveaway, this sounds like, I don't even know. Ah, I need more coffee. Um, we're giving away different things like hats, totes, wedding magazines, and wine openers. Speaking of wedding magazines, look how cute these are. I went a little overkill, but can we just talk about this for a sec? Okay, so how cute is this? So it says forever. 13th of April, 2024. My biggest nightmare is that I did like a, the date wrong or a spelling error. It has like a little QR code, which was to our website, our wedding website, and it has our logo. So we did a wedding logo, which I just think is so freaking cute. Look at that, TPM. I love it. So then I won't, well maybe I will take you through it. It's like a nice like, we're so happy you're here. And we have the timeline of the wedding ceremony reception. So it's just like for people who aren't as digital, you know, not as user friendly online, our menu that they're gonna be eating on the wedding day. And then I thought this was so cute, a word search. Like how cute is that? Not to say, I feel like I really nailed it with this stuff. So anyways, we're doing that. We're having a dinner tomorrow night, Friday, and that is a welcome dinner. So. You don't really hear weddings doing this, but we're doing a full sit down dinner the night before with all of our guests, not just like our bridal party or anything like that, but with every single guest. And we have around 60, tomorrow night will be 62 people coming. And then the wedding day, wedding reception and all that will be 64. So it's pretty big for a destination wedding um, and going to a very expensive island. Fun fact, Bahamas is the seventh most expensive country in the world. I just learned that. That's, of course we picked that, <laughs> but it's great. We picked Bahamas because it's so close to Toronto. It's a three hour flight, we are from Toronto and we just don't want our guests to have to travel far. So I didn't explain what I'm doing right now. So what I'm doing right now is I am putting together, oh yeah I did, putting together signs for like different things. So one being the swag that I just showed you, like the magazines, totes, wedding uh, wine openers, all that. We've got really cool wine openers, like rabbits, the really fancy kind, and they have mailing on it, pretty cool. I don't know if everyone wants a bunch of stuff with our name on it, but we have a cool last name. So I'll show you the hats. There's two different kinds of hats. I'll show them to you better later, but this is what they, they are. How you doing, steamer girl? Excellent, we're making lots of great progress. We just opened it up. It's very big. Yeah, ooh, it's heavy. Okay. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's heavy. It's a serious piece. And this is our view. And it's probably gonna start raining, which is totally fine. Because we're it is good luck and we're indoors, covered patio, so it's totally fine. There's mom with the beautiful tan, the white teeth. And of course the dress rehearsal, which I'm so happy we did because it just made a lot of really intimate memories. And then after the dress rehearsal, so this is on Friday and we got married on Saturday. So after the dress rehearsal, we hosted a dinner for all of our guests. We had just over 60 guests and this was such a fun night. We wanted to do something really special for every single one of our guests, you know, feed them all. They came all the way to the Palmas. So we had this beautiful dinner, uh, seated dinner for them. It was on a patio outside. It was just so stunning. We also had a Calypso band, which I, I'm gonna insert a clip here because they were so much fun. They, the music was incredible. And actually my mom took a video of me attempting to play the drums, which I will insert here. And we also had a magician. I don't know if I have photos of it. I think maybe I do, I'll ask, I'll have to see if I do. But we hired a magician, so after we were done eating, uh, he came around to the different tables and did some tricks and different things like that. We love magic, we love going to shows, especially when we go to Vegas. So we're like, let's bring some magic to the Bahamas. And that was, I think it was a really big highlight of the night, at least for me anyways, he was incredible.
Okay, let's get back into fashion. So for this night, for Friday night, I wore this outfit here. I am obsessed with my dress I wore. It's funny because we were in Miami a few months ago and we were walking around the mall and I was like, okay, I need to find a rehearsal dinner dress. Like what, I, I was thinking I was gonna wear something very typical or stereotypical where it's this white bridal dress the night before and I wasn't finding it. We went into the store, I'll have to put the brand name up here for it because they have beautiful pieces and we walk in, the sales associate comes right up to me and she goes, like, like just out of the blue, she goes, I have the perfect dress for you. We have one left, it's your size, you need to try it on. And I'm looking at Paul and he's like, try it, try it. So I look at the dress, I'm like, this is stunning, but it's not what I'm looking for for my dress rehearsal, I was looking for white. I try it on, it fits like a glove, I'm like, this is it. Like, when have Paul and I ever done anything, you know, that isn't to the beat of our own drum? This is no different. So, ended up getting the dress, I, I absolutely loved it. It was, I haven't worn it yet again, but it's one of those pieces where I'm definitely gonna get a lot of use out of it. It's just really beautiful. Then for shoes for that dress, the shoes did not get the attention they deserved if I'm being you know, I'm just saying, I feel like they needed a moment. They didn't get their own moment. We were in Chanel and Paul sees these shoes and he's like, you need to try these on. These are perfect for a rehearsal dinner. So I try them on, they fit like a glove and they're so funky. I feel like they, I haven't, once again, I haven't worn them since, but I love the disco pattern on them. Typically with, you know, Chanel, I always go like more classic. So these are a really fun piece to add to my wardrobe and have for my rehearsal dinner. The bag I wore that night was this white little Chanel bag as well. That actually was supposed to be for the next day, the wedding day, which I ended up wearing as well. And I had another little bag, a blue bag, uh, that I was supposed to wear for the Friday night. But the blues, when I put them on together, they really clashed, so went white both nights. And it was really fun. We had, I had my hair and makeup trial Friday night, the night before, and I was kind of nervous. I don't wear a ton of makeup at all and I just I like to keep things very simple and I was really nervous because you typically see a lot of times brides like the makeup artist goes way overkill with the makeup and hair and all that so she was phenomenal she did such a good job she did let my skin breathe didn't do foundation I asked her just keep it very simple I, I summed it up to her as though I was like I would rather have a spot you know like a pimple showing on my wedding than look like just caked on so she was amazing and uh, yeah, it was, Friday night was very special. All right, cut to the day of the wedding. The day of the wedding, Saturday morning, I was a lot calmer than I thought I would be, to be honest with you. And I mean, maybe if you ask my mom or sister or some of my girlfriends, they would tell you otherwise, but everything at that point was completely out of your control. It's the day of, it's happening, just enjoy it. And that's what I really tried to do was exactly that. There were moments where it was hard to let go. I'm not going to lie, just because my personality, but I knew I had the most amazing wedding planner, amazing team, and it was just going to be spectacular. As a side note, I forgot to mention, okay, so the night be, or a few nights before our wedding day, Paul and I, Paul and I were in the Bahamas for a week. And a few nights before we went to this restaurant and our waiter there, we were telling him we were getting married and all this stuff. And Paul in being like super extroverted and you know, making friends with everyone goes, well, come to our wedding. You should come, you should totally come. And he's like, great, I'm gonna come to your wedding. That sounds perfect. I thought it was all jokes, but the way the waiter was like agreeing to it, I'm like, I wonder if he's gonna show up. Totally forgot about it. 
As I'm walking down the aisle, I kind of see from the corner of my eye, our waiter sitting there. And by the way, he was so respectful. He had on this beautiful suit. He was dressed properly, but he came, he came to the wedding, which was so fun. Like it's one of those core memories now that we have. And it's like, a, it's such a great joke. <laughs> much that he called us uh, the next day to thank us for having him at the wedding. That's such a cool story. I love when you just meet people and then they just become part of your lives. Like I think that's just the best way to live life is being open to just meeting people as you go. And that's one thing Paul I think has really taught me is just being open to making friends with strangers because you're not supposed to do that when you're young, but it's really fun with the right strangers, anyways. After the ceremony though, it was time for cocktail hour. So all of our guests went to cocktail hour while Paul and I went and did some photos. Our photographer, let me tell you, she is insane, like incredible. The best photographer I could have asked for. She just knew every angle to do. She knew different, she was just amazing. So much so that after the wedding, she messaged me and she goes, I'm going to feature one of our photos, or the photos, her photos with me in it, in Vogue. And she's been featured in Vogue many times and it was so cool. Then now in July on Vogue Online, one of the photos, her photos from our wedding was featured in Vogue, which featured me, which was really cool because coming from a fashion and modeling background, uh, you know, obviously Vogue, getting in Vogue is like the gold standard, the biggest deal ever. And then to have that happen for my wedding was extremely special and something I'm just like super over the moon about. She's amazing. But back to the cocktail hour, Neil, who was our MC and has been friends with Paul for like 25 years or so, maybe even longer. He was an incredible MC. Couldn't have like, he was so funny, but so he just like he could go with everyone's personalities. Okay. Entrance as husband and wife. I'm, I'm biased about this because it's with me, obviously, but I think it's one of the best ones. We probably can't feature the music in this bit. We love Black Keys. We've seen them in person and it was just such a fun song to, to start with. We walked in, uh, we had a champagne tower moment and it was just, it was so much fun. It was like hyping everyone up, including ourselves. You know, we just got married. It was very exciting. So insert some clips here of that. And okay, let me tell you, I am not someone growing up who dreamt about their wedding. I dreamt about owning million, billion dollar businesses, being an entrepreneur, all of that. But I never dreamt about my wedding day. Like what dress was I going to wear, different things like that. And, but once you start going down wedding planning life, it sucks you in, like it consumes you. And it's kind of addicting, kind of fun, but kind of also like, not fun, it's this weird thing. And so for our reception, imagine this, I spent a year thinking and planning around that it was going to be on this beautiful terrace right over the ocean with palm trees and it's just gonna be outside and stunning. A week before our wedding, I'm on the couch with Paul and I'm like, it is supposed to be massive winds the night of our wedding, like crazy windy. And it got to the point where, you know, we waited, we waited, it was not going to go down. So we ended up moving our reception indoors, which actually happened to be one of the best decisions we've made. You know, none of our guests really enjoy eating outside. It was really sticky and hot that night. So we were in air conditioning. It just worked out so much better. And it took a lot of stress off of my plate thinking about, I don't want to make this decision the day of the wedding. Are we going to move venues? We still had a little bit of time to work on some decor around it. Uh, so it worked out amazing in the end, but leading up to it, it's, it was pretty stressful. 
Paul danced with his mom to uh, John Lennon's Imagine by, yeah, Imagine by John Lennon. And I danced with my dad to Coldplay. What was the song? Oh my gosh, I should know that. I'll put it up on screen here, but I forget it right now. But anyway, it was so special. You know, you dream about, well, I guess, like I said, I didn't think about it as a kid, but you think about your first dance with your, your parent for at least the past year when I was planning it. So it was really, really special. My dad looked like James Bond, by the way. When he was uh, suit shopping, everyone in the suit store was like, he's James Bond. And I think he really was. And my mom looked stunning. She was a princess, an angel, like a queen. She was so beautiful. Same with my sister. She, I mean, she could look amazing in a garbage bag. She's just perfect. Uh, Paul's mom looked him. Everyone, all of our family looked so beautiful. All of our guests did. Uh, it was just super special. Then it was time for Paul and I's first dance, and we chose the song uh, Say Yes to Heaven by Lana Del Rey. And this, once again, in typical Tiff and Paul fashion, is not <laughs> what stereotypical uh, brides and husbands or brides and grooms would dance to, but we wanted something different. I love Lana Del Rey. Paul was driving one day, he came on the radio, and he called me. He's like, what do you think of this song? We love the lyrics, and it was, it was done. It was easy as that. Then we had our cake cutting and I love, love, love this moment. So I changed into my second wedding dress. I wanted a second dress that I could dance and move around in. So it was something much more sleek and uh, fitted to the body. The reason I chose, I didn't even really talk about my main wedding dress, but the reason I chose my main wedding dress, very A-line, never in a million years did I think I would wear something like that. But then when I was at stores trying on different gowns and whatnot, I thought to myself, when in my life, no matter how many black tie events you go to, galas you go to, when are you ever going to wear, get to wear this big grand dress, like with this big A-line? Never, you never will. So that's why I was like, I have to have this big grand stunning gown moment. moment. And then second dress, let's do something that's much more fitted, you can move around in, it was backless, high neck. It was, I loved it. I thought it was stunning. Uh, so walked in did a second change paul did a second change so paul's uh really good friend billy billy waxman who owns the waxman house in montreal he designed and had paul's two suits made his uh, main tux which was for the ceremony and then his second suit which was this really dark blue um suede material and it was really beautiful it almost looked like black it was so dark blue so anyways paul and i changed into our second looks came in and uh, we had the song Jay-Z, what was it by? Oh my gosh, the New York song by Jay-Z, what is it? I'll put it up on screen here. Anyways, we had that song because we both go to New York often. We got engaged in New York. We do a lot of business in New York, friends in New York. We love New York, basically. Very special place in our hearts. And Empire State of Mind, that's what it's called. It's on my notes here. Uh, and it was really fun. So I'll insert some footage of our, our time there. time to party and let me tell you my family our friends they are not big down I mean there are some who are of course but on average I would say we're not big dancers but we we did dance for quite a while I have to say and it was really fun just to see people who don't typically dance on the dance floor I dance with my mom my dad um, it was so much fun and then we had our little, I wanted to do a send off. I love, I think it's so cute for the photos. Uh, so we had everyone have sparklers and we ran through them and it was just such a cool moment. And yeah, it was just an incredible day. We spent a few more days in the Bahamas. I'll insert some videos here of just random clips. Morning, we are on our way to the water park. This is the thing I've been most excited about. And I've only had one cup of coffee, hence the coffee voice, but I am so excited to just be like a kid for the day. Do all the sliding. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Also, check out these bags. So look at this. I gotta show you a better version of this, but tip and tech and take off. And then this one says, a special delivery from the mailman and his wife with our wedding logo. The little details are the big details. Okay, now I'm to slide. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. 
But that was really our wedding weekend. I mean, it was very busy, very jam-packed. Paul and I, as I mentioned, were there for a week, so it felt like a wedding week. And we didn't go on our honeymoon till June because from April to June for work, for me, for Tiffin Tech, I was in Seattle, Las Vegas, and New York. So I was traveling a lot for work. And we waited, we wanted to, we typically go to Europe anyways in June. So we said, okay, let's wait till June. We did Scandinavia and I'm gonna do a whole separate video as to why we chose Scandinavia. And I, I filmed a lot while we were traveling. So I'll insert clips from, from that one as well. Basically a lot more content to come on this channel. So hit that subscribe button. I love you all.